Hi everyone, before we start, I just want to make a small disclaimer. This lecture is not for you if you always implement the most cutting edge solutions and never think about the simple one. This lecture is also not for you if you're completely blind to the client's needs. Also, this lecture is not for you if you cannot see the big picture. And if business KPIs make you fall asleep, you better just move on. If talking to the product manager makes you feel sick, we better separate now. And if everything looks like a nail for you, we better just end now. But if you stayed so far, hop on board because we're going to a fascinating journey together. So hi, I'm Dana and I'm the head of data science at PKP. I also serve as a data science advisor for various startups. And my biggest passion is solving hard problems with the most simple solutions I can find. So our journey today actually begins 20 years ago when this was a very popular picture, when you had to go to a tourist agency in order to book your flights. I remember the last time I went to an agency like this, and it was in 2010, I think, when I had to get my visa to Nepal. Luckily today, we can just reserve all we need online, and we can even pick our seats. I also wonder how many of the hotels still look like this. I bet most of them look like this, with much more technology. In the maritime domain, this is how it looked like 20 years ago. This is an inventory management system. And this is how it looks today. Yes, the same thing. I mean, until we at Peer enter the game. So at Peer, our product tries to answer all the needs of our clients, meaning helping the boaters make, make reservations, helping marinas uh, manage their inventories, making simple communication between boat sizes, and so on. But actually today, I want to talk with you about a specific problem, the matching problem. Uh, this problem I had to solve when I first got to Picky Pier. The problem is matching between boats that come into the marina and available birds. A bird is actually an anchoring sp spot inside a marina. So while I was thinking about this problem, I actually realized it's very familiar to a game we all have to play, the Tetris game. And the same as in Tetris game, that we want to maximize some kind of uh, score function uh, also in the maritime domain. Uh, but the problem is that we never know what shape is going to get next. The same is for marinas. Um, they never know which boat is going to reserve a spot next. So before we dive into my algorithm, I just want to share with you the product requirements. The first product requirement was first comes, first served meaning that we're not running a mafia here, and we actually want to serve our, our clients decently. So if a, a boat was um, promised a spot inside the marina, we don't want it to arrive, and then uh, it appears there's no spot for her. The second requirement was that allocating the specific bird is going to be made only one day before the boat arrives. Um, the purpose of it is to allow the marina as much flexibility as possible. So in order to answer the product requirements, I had to think about the algorithmic assumptions. The first assumption was that every marina has a constant number of birds. Since it's a not, not a one day job to build a new pier. The second requirement was that every marina has its own business goal. 
meaning that my algorithm had to have a very flexible uh, cost function in order to answer different uh, business targets. For example, one marina can, uh, may want to optimize its revenue, another marina may want to optimize to maximize its occupancy, and another marina can um, want to maximize her prestige, for example, by serving uh, mostly super yachts. The last assumption was that although I really, really wanted to implement a cool algorithm such as reinforcement learning, I had only a few dozen of samples of reservations and birds when I first started to work on this problem. So I realized that I have to implement a, actually a very simple algorithm. Back to the Tetris game. What if while we're playing, we could just take the shape we get and place it, switch it, swap it with another shape that is already appearing in the screen? Yes, this is exactly what I've implemented in, a, in our matching algorithm. So you can see here uh, the entire algorithmic chart. But before, before we dive in, I just want to tell you that behind the scene, there is a really complex mathematical equation, not like this one, <laughs> that takes into account uh, all the necessary parameters, such as the boat dimensions, the bird dimensions, the boat prestige, the duration of the reservation, and so on. And just if you thought of stealing my idea, no, I'm just kidding, just wanted to know that. And the, um, what else I want to mention is that the colors have um, meaning. The blue color represents the pool of the reservations in the waiting list. The mustard color represents the matches pool, which contains reservations which are already matched to birds. The purple color represents the pool of available birds. Now that we got it, so let's start uh, with the common practice. You can see in the left side. So in the common practice, what happens is when a reservation gets to a marina reception by phone or by email, uh, the receptionist usually just can look out of the window and see if there's available bird currently. And if not, the reservation is rejected. And usually no waiting list is offered. But in our algorithm, in Picapier's algorithm, it's completely different. When the reservations arrived, uh, the algorithm, the reservation entered to the system automatically. So the algorithm searches uh, for the most the the bird that uh, match it the best, meaning it optimizes uh, the most the cost function. So if no match is found, the reservation is going into the waiting list. But if a match is found, then we do the algorithm does another step of optimization. It tries to swap the new match with another match which already exists. And if this swap would optimize the cost function, then now uh, boat A would be matched to bird B and boat B with bird A. The last part, but not the least, actually this part is the one that mostly contributed to optimization function of the algorithm, happens like this. When, uh, when there is uh, an available bird, uh, it can happen, for example, if someone just cancelled his reservation. Then this bird, the algorithm tries to match this bird to a reservation inside the waiting list. So if the match is found, we're going back to the matching cascade we talked two slides before. But if no match is found, we still got an available bird. So the algorithm can take another optimization step. Now it tries to swap this bed with already occupied bed, which is matched to another reservation. And if this swap is, uh, is going to optimize the score function, then the algorithm makes it. 
and then the new match is added to the match pool and the free bird is going to the bird's pool. So I think so far I managed to convince you that this is actually a very, very simple algorithm, but yet, but yet very sophisticated because it fits perfectly to our maritime domain and answers all the product requirements. And I just want to finish with this lovely um, meme that was shared uh, by Paige Bailey, which is a familiar data scientist from the industry. Tell me the truth. I'm, I'm ready to hear it. Most of the time, you won't need deep learning. Most of the time, you won't even need machine learning. So thank you for mu so much, and I'll be really happy to answer your questions in the chat. Bye-bye.